you have to cancel uh, or change, there are several options. You can cancel the registration, refund all or a portion, or keep some back. You can cancel the registration, just keep the money. You can cancel the registration and transfer to escrow, or you can transfer the registration, to, again, to a different class, to a different participant. So again, multiple options uh, are for you. Um, if the payment has already has has already been made, <clears throat> now here's one. I should the payment if no if no payment has been made, someone's registered, uh, but they've never made a payment. Then you really don't have to use any wizard. You just cancel the registration, and you put in a fee adjustment there to say canceled um, minus ninety five dollars and this registration is canceled, there were no payments to worry about. But when you're doing a, a cancellation or voiding a registration, the issue is you want to make sure that the total due uh, and the total paid result in a balance of zero. Uh, because if, if a registration is canceled, uh, you want to make sure that the balance due is zero because otherwise this registration will still be showing up as an outstanding account. Uh, when you're running deadbeat or some of the other financial reports. All right, uh, refund wizard. When you're at the payment screen, you'll see in the lower left a refund wizard. And that generally where you're doing a canceling a registration that has uh, payments made, the best way to go is use the refund wizard because it allows you multiple options, refund the student, refund escrow, you can refund the total amount, fixed total, uh, and it'll automatically, this is the nice part, it'll automatically cancel the registration for you and zero out the CEUs and hours. Uh, so again, that is it. I'm not going to do an example of that. Um, we'll get to it if we've got time later. <clears throat> Transfers. The other option from the payment screen is transfer. And the big issue here might be that if, if you've moved this student from one class to another, you've transferred a registration from one class to another, and there might be an overpayment. Uh, well, the transfer payment allows you to transfer that leftover parcel to either escrow, to a third party, um, uh, registration in the system. I believe that covers that. And again, the help mode, the help guide has some good uh, examples or some good tips on handling the uh, handling the uh, issue of, of transfers uh, and refunds. <clears throat> uh, both of those that we said, they're on the payment screen. Uh, transfer and the registration is drop dead simple. Uh, you click the transfer button, you pick class, you pick student, and uh, proceed. And so there, there's really not much uh, change on that. Uh, the big deal at the end of that is, of course, if you're transferring from class to class, um, if there's a different fee amount that you've got to either add an additional charge for the additional fee, or you, as we mentioned, go into refund wizard and refund the overpayment if, if they've got a going from a high dollar to a lower dollar class. Okay. Uh, special case. Uh, if you have a registration with a billing and that you're canceling that registration, you need to pay attention to that because billings in Student Manager are considered live and considered collectible unless you avoid them. So again, even if you have a student cancel a registration that's been billed, unless you void the billing or delete the old billing, your account's payable, your account's receivable, will continue to show that as a live account. Uh, Matthew has added now a nice feature that if you're canceling a registration with a billing, it will ask if you'd like to void them as part of the process. <clears throat> 